Why is it that my beautiful diamonds and my beautiful Teletubbies, when you uh, uh, call someone out on something, the first thing they that comes out of their mouth is why are you being so judgmental? You don't know a person's situation. You know, uh, why are you uh, being so self-righteous? Uh, no, first of all, I don't judge anyone because I don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. Judging someone means you, you'd say they should be put to death. You should die for what you did. That's a judgment. But anyway, I was listening to Natalie Clarice, who is an amazing woman, a beautiful lady. And she's always speaking with so, so much common sense, just like my, uh, my social media daughter, the sovereign woman. I told you, I, oh, I love her so much. I also <clears throat> really appreciate Natalie Clarice. And what she's talking about right now is, you know, women who are going around having three, four and five different baby daddies. Now we could understand maybe two. The first time you were married, it didn't work out. You know, your husband wants a kid and you go that route and it didn't work out the first time. And then maybe the second time, you know, it didn't work out again. Okay, that's it. That's it. You meet a third guy. He's talking about he want a baby. Oh, no, babe, that ain't happening. And I don't care if you make six figures. Uh, no. Because there's no guarantee. No guarantee that you're going to stay. That's just my personal view. But let me share um, Natalie Clarice. Let's listen to her, her, her viewpoint. And I agree with her, by the way. A thousand percent. All right, Natalie, girlfriend. You know what I find interesting is that, you know, I've been doing this thing about women having babies about three or four men, right? What I was baffling about that whole situation is that it is so baffling that women do not to like to take accountability. It's like, where's the confusion in understanding that you having three and four baby daddies is not okay? And it's not, okay? You give them constructive criticism, they want to say, you're judging. Oh, Miss Perfect, you don't know other people's situation. Let me tell you something. I'm not talking about men who have passed away. I'm not talking about a man you are married to. I'm talking about women who are sleeping with men, okay, and just pushing out kids, okay? Think as though this is some kind of hobby. This is a, a fun sport. You understand what I'm trying to say? Then you have all of these kids, all right? You have all of these kids that don't have, that are in fatherless homes. You in a home with a, with a woman, but no father, no male figure, no male, no male head and helper to raise that child. This is not a baby. This is not right. a baby doll. This bringing a human life into the world is a very serious thing. And, then, and, and for you to be popping out babies from, from three and five different men, that is, it is horrifying. And then what I don't and understand. Know, Now, how many of us can say amen, amen, amen 
to what was just discussed here with Natalie and her friend in the back. I don't know who she is, but she definitely had her viewpoint. Yeah, you have, this is why you have so many children uh, in fatherless homes. It doesn't make any sense this day and age for women to constantly keep getting pregnant. Well, we see that they're not being responsible because they're not wearing protection. So not only are they being irresponsible in terms of bringing innocent lives into this world, into a struggle, into poverty, but also they don't care about their health or their life. There are so many STDs that are still out here. So, I mean, like she said, you're not going to be taken seriously. You're known as a good time uh, girl or something that's a play thing. And I see it all the time when I watch Kendra G. You have these women on here. They're talking about they got three, four. Some of them got up to five, six different baby daddies. What the hell is that? And the same thing apply when it comes to men with all of these three, four, five, six. Some got up to eight, 12 different baby mamas. All of this is irresponsible. It's being irresponsible. And for the women, don't they know anything about getting your tubes tied? There's so many contraceptives out here and you don't want your tubes tied. What about the morning after pill? The condom broke. Okay, that happens. Oops, oops, so we got the morning after pill. Google it on whatever area you in, you're in. I think you could get that now over the counter. Or find a Planned Parenthood anywhere. Planned Parenthood will help you find where you can get an abortion, or uh, 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 all kind of birth control. Planned Parenthood has all that information. There is no reason for these women to keep popping out all these kids in a world that's full of poverty, Prices are crazy with rent, food, clothing. And, and, and what the hell is this? And then they're making babies with all of these poor, broke ninjas. And that's not a color thing. That's a mental thing. And this is not just about black men because you have all other, a lot of all the other races are doing the same thing. Women lining up for child support, begging and pleading just for crumbs. Women have got to take accountability. And this is what I was telling a female who always wants to talk about punish the men, punish the men. What about these goddamn women? When are they going to start taking accountability? And should they be beat? Like she was always saying, beat these men. No, beat these women. A man can't go no farther than you allow him to go. This is ridiculous. Way too many contraceptives. And what about these men? You know damn well you can't afford no god dog it children. Vasectomies in and out of a clinic. It's like 30 minutes, baby. Snip, snip, in and out. And it can be reversed in most cases. So how about that? They need to make, see, don't have nobody's kid who ain't got six figures, honey. And I'm talking about he has a career, not no little job, or he's some whatever entrepreneur. Sometimes he makes this money and sometimes he don't. This is very iffy. We can't do iffy, baby. Uh-uh. We need guarantees when you're talking about bringing human life into this world. Even though my, I personally say there's more than enough children in the world for people to be taking care of the ones that are already here. But these ladies are making a lot of sense. And we are definitely on the same wavelength when it comes to three, four, five different baby mamas, different baby daddies. All of this is disgusting. Now, we can understand. And, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, you know, look, I, you know my Sheila's motto, baby. I suggest stay free. Stay single, honey. Why on earth do people want to sign up for a ball and chain anyway? Why do you want to have a ball and chain and you choose that over freedom? That don't make sense to me either. Not anymore. Especially with all the information we have out here today, you choose incarceration over freedom. So, and then you want a man who's going to pay for everything. Let me tell you about that part. If he's paying for everything, he gets to control not only you, but he gets to control your life too. You better know it. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. It's time to wake up, ladies.